Andrew McGann for Severe MMA standing alongside Norman Park. Norman, uh, what was what was such as the delay? They didn't want to announce you coming to the party July nineteenth. I don't know what the hold that was, but um, I knew about the fight about a month before. Um, I think UFC had to go through a process first before they actually announced the fight, but there was rumours spread that uh, the fight was happening, and I knew about it long ago, so I don't know what the hold up was really. I think, did you know it was your original opponent as well? Because he, the whole thing was that he signed for the UFC and then a week later it was, an, it was announced that he was going to be fighting you. I never actually knew that he was signed to the UFC. It was just, um, I emailed Joe Silva, says get me an opponent. I actually wanted to fight the, the rematch, the Santos rematch, but that wasn't going to happen again. So, um, Do you think Joe's now put you above Santos? Is that he said, don't do the rematch again? Or why, why, where do you think you stand above him now? I felt like I was the only fighter there to fight. I mean... Um, it's only really a fighter, two fighters want to make it a fight, and I was the one pushing the pace, coming forward every time. He was happy enough being on the back foot, just throwing shots here and there, just doing enough to survive, you know, and um, enough to get by, enough to just to try and age every round. That's what he was trying in my mind, and uh, so that's why I was trying very hard for the takedown. I want to get him down, try and pound him out, but I think if it was a rematch in Dublin, I would have finished him. Anyway. I felt like I would, have, I would have came at him, I would have forced him. To make mistakes, now I would have, I would have hurt him and, and finished him. What, what was it like fighting in Brazil in that atmosphere? It sounded absolutely crazy. It was actually all right. You know, I don't really mind. You know, it, it doesn't really matter where I fight. I just come out. I heard all the chants from the Brazilian fans. I just waved at them and smiled and just got on with it. But uh, no, I, I liked it. It was pretty warm though, and I, I could have swore that it was actually greased up. It felt really, really slippy. But I guess that was the humidity there. It was very, very humidity and. Uh, it was warm as well. So <coughs> contrast that to your prediction for how, how the O2 is going to sound. Oh, it's going to be unbelievable. You know, I remember, um, I think it was about five years ago, um, I'm not sure, exactly, I think it was USC 92 or 93, something. 93, yeah. 93, and uh, that was unbelievable. But, you know, the way things have been going lately, it's going to be, it's going to be unbelievable. Uh, I know the Irish fans are, they love sport, you know. They're very dramatic with sport and they're very passionate. And, yeah, it's going to be really great that night. What's your current training situation? Are you heading back out to California before this fight? Um, no, I'm actually going to stay back home for this one and uh, I'll probably bring a couple of guys in. I've got a couple of good southpaw boxers that I'm training with at the minute and um, you know, I feel like I've got enough here to, uh, to get me through this fight. Um, I've been training in America, I've learned loads. Uh, a lot of good sparring partners in America, but um, I feel like I've got enough here to, to deal with my opponent. Do you think it was a case of you just wanted to maybe because so, I've said this about you publicly I don't think you'll ever fight outside of the UFC I think you're going to go through your career a very good career in the UFC do you think you had to solidify them first couple of wins and maybe get over to the States to get the training required I want. I really wanted to go there to see where I was what level I was at training with like guys like Ross Pearson Jeremy Stevens, Mike Shannon I just wanted to kind of you know you know play about and see where I was and, uh, and I slotted right in there perfectly fine you know and that gave me confidence you know when you get a confident fighter it's um it's a whole different ball game, and that just, if anything, it gave me confidence, and that's what I thought I needed. And I feel like I could just fight against any of them top ten, no problem. I'd slot in there perfectly fine. And one final thing: any predictions for July nineteenth? I I know you're you're evolving as well since you got into the UFC, throwing different things, uh, different game plans, and different fights. You showed you can grind out with the grappling. You showed you can beat them on the feet as well. So if you could give us a, a slight prediction for July nineteenth. I know everyone likes to finish, you know, I, I would love to get a finish because before all my fights outside the UFC, they were all finishes, most of them, but, uh, you know, this guy here, he's had a lot of first round submissions, you know, he's, um, I see this fight that people uh, kind of think that I should have had a, a higher named opponent, but this guy, is, he, this guy here could just step in and fight any of them top 10 and give them a run for the money. I feel like in this, uh, this card I'm fighting the most experienced, uh, actually I'm fighting the most experienced guy and, uh, and the most toughest fighter in the card, so... I feel like um, if, if, if I can nullify his first round, you know, I feel like that's where he's stronger. I watched his last fight against Jorge Masvidal. That was his last loss in 2010. And he seems to come out searching for the submission in the first round very fast, you know, searching for knee bars, heel hooks and stuff like that. So if I can, uh, if I can uh, absorb that first round and I feel like I've got the gas, I'm faster than him. I'm hard to keep down, you know, I'm hard to take down. He's got a bit of judo, so... If I had my way, I would I would love to get a knockout. Everybody wants to get a knockout. Everyone wants to see a knockout, but I would love to get a nice knockout. I'm working on some few combinations here that I'm um, against the southpaw that me and my coach is working on uh, to actually work with you know them combinations for seven weeks, eight weeks, and pull it off in the fight. That'd be something special for me. Excellent, Norman. We appreciate the time. Thanks, buddy. Looking forward to my July 19th. Freezing. You feel that? Yeah, sweaty I'm as well. Do I feel my feet always? No, no, you're okay. I was training in America and we were about to grapple, and the boys, fuck me, man, you feel like a fucking corpse. <laughs> but no, nah, that's just the way it is, you know. 
Well, fucking crazy. It's a bad but circulation here in Ireland. Bad circulation. <laughs> I need the fucking warm weather. <laughs> so no, I appreciate it. Best luck to 919. Thank you.